I've mastered the art of secret message candles. Let me show you how. So the cool thing about these candles is they have a secret message hidden inside of them and you don't know what the message is until you actually light the candle and you allow some of the wax to melt. After the candle has melted, the message is revealed. And if you blow the candle out and allow it to cool, the message is hidden once again. You are absolutely gonna fall in love with these candles and just how easy they are to make. So these candles aren't made with any handwritten note and they're also not made with beads, which is something you see a lot in secret message candles. These candles actually have a super secret ingredient that makes them so amazing. Let's go ahead and learn how to make them now. A lot of the times I'm repurposing a candle jar, so I don't always know the size of it. So I figure I will just walk you through the entire process on how to do this secret message candle for whatever container you're using. So what we have to figure out is how big of a message we can fit into our candle jar. What I do is I come in with a tape measure and just go ahead and measure. So for this jar, I wouldn't do more than an inch and a half. So we have a little bit of wiggle room. The container that I'm using holds 2.5 ounces of soy wax. So you might not know how much soy wax your container holds. So let me show you how to find out. Go ahead and turn your scale on. Place your pouring pot and hit the tear button. That makes this all zeros while the pouring pot is on it. So as you can see here, the candle jar is not filled up 100% of the way. It's filled up most of the way, but there's a little bit of room at the top because you don't normally pour a candle all the way to the very top. And we're gonna dump this in our pouring pot. And then we're gonna go ahead and fill it up to that same point again. So basically to get the amount of wax for a container, you fill it up one and a half to two times. So two seems to be just a little bit too much, but I like to have a little bit extra versus not enough. But if you didn't wanna waste any wax, you could probably fill this up halfway and that would be probably exactly what you need for this candle. So the container that I'm using is gonna go ahead and use 2.5 ounces of candle wax. So now that we know that this holds 2.5 ounces of soy wax, what we're gonna do is figure out how much fragrance oil we need for that soy wax. The fragrance oil that I'm using, which is Smell the Rainbow, is actually used at 10%. So 2.5 ounces times 10% is going to give you 0.25 ounces of fragrance oil. To weigh our fragrance oil, we turn the scale on, put our container on, press the tear button, which is gonna show all zeros while the container is on there. And then we'll just go ahead and pour our fragrance oil in. Make sure if you used your container to measure your soy wax, you go ahead and clean it out. And I'm gonna attach the wick with some hot glue. Now you don't have to use hot glue. I prefer to use hot glue because it washes out of the containers easier. So I will reuse these over and over and over again. And I like the containers to come very clean. I find the sticky things are harder to clean out, but if you prefer to use those, you certainly can. For the hot glue, you just put a wee little bit of hot glue on the bottom of your wick tab and pop it in the center of your container. We're gonna go ahead and melt our wax. So I just grab a saucepan with a little bit of water in it and a silicone mat in the bottom. I just put the silicone mat in there so this pouring pot isn't bouncing all over. Place your pouring pot in there and we're gonna put this on the stove on a low heat until it's completely melted. I just removed this from the double boiler. You want to make sure you come in and wipe the bottom of the pouring pot off just so there's no water on it. And then I just let this cool down just a wee little bit until we're below the flash point for our fragrance oil. And you can always check that with your thermometer. And then what I'll do is go ahead and pour the fragrance oil in. and give this a really good mix. So I'm gonna mix this for a couple of minutes. So just go ahead and make sure you mix it very well. The reason why we wanna mix it so well is we wanna make sure that the fragrance oil fully binds to the soy wax or whatever kind of wax you're using. So just take the time to give it a really, really good mix. 
And you don't have to worry, like if you're afraid, like this is gonna cool down too quick and I'm not gonna be able to pour it in the pot, it doesn't cool down quite that quick. So you'll be completely fine just taking the time to give it a good mix. Now, right now we only wanna fill this up to the point where we wanna put our message. So I'm gonna fill it up to about right here and then we'll put the message in, I'll re-pour and I'll fill the candle about until right here. But if you pour all the way to the top, there's no room for a message. So only fill, um, geez, three quarters of the way on your candle or leaving about half an inch for additional wax. Now I find that pouring slowly gives you a better candle. So I always just take my time when I'm pouring the candle it just seems to set up better if you pour slow and close to the jar. And like I said, I'm gonna stop about right there. And we're gonna allow this candle to completely cool. And don't forget, if you're liking the video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you want more videos like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Let's dive back into making dark candle. For my design, I'm using Canva, but you can use whatever program you would like. To use Canva, what you're gonna do is go ahead and find the flyer portrait, eight and a half by 11, which will give you this blank piece of paper on your screen. So what I'm gonna do is click add a heading, type my message in here. So I'm typing happy Valentine's Day, and then I'm just gonna resize it and get it to go on one line. Click effects and then click curve. Now that's how we get the curved lettering in here and just resize it to the size you want it to be. Remember my candle couldn't be any more than 1.5. Make a copy of it, change the lettering to I love you, which is gonna go on the bottom of it. And then we're just gonna flip that over and kind of resize it to fit. So I did a whole bunch of things on one page that we're not gonna be using because I didn't wanna waste the paper. So just kind of ignore all of my other designs on here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and search the elements for a heart. So click on elements, type in heart, and a whole slew of images are gonna pop up. Then what we're gonna do is select the one that we want. Again, resize it. It's gonna have to be pretty small to fit in this design. So get that there, and then you're just gonna have to use your tool to flip it over how you want it to go. Now, once you are ready to export, hit the share button, and then you're gonna go to download. So it'll start with PNG, but what you're actually gonna do is click PDF print, and that's the best one to download for printing hit download and it will only take a couple of seconds to download this to your computer and you are all set to go ahead and print it. So the paper that you wanna to use to print on is transparent paper for inkjet printer. This is the stuff that I got and it works very well. The only thing is, is on the plastic container that it comes in, one side will actually say print side and then nowhere else in the package does it say that. So make sure that you make a note of what side's the print side. And we're just gonna go ahead and print our images. And here are our printed designs. Um, I can't stand by just doing one, like wasting a whole sheet of paper for one. So I put a bunch of projects that I'll be working on on here. And it's actually the clear film, but it's very hard to see when it's like that. So I just put a white piece of paper behind it so you can see. Now, I've been down here for maybe five minutes it took since I printed this, and just to show you, if I rub my finger across, the ink doesn't smear, it dries really, really fast. And for this candle, I think I'm gonna do this Happy Valentine's Day, I love you. And then I'm just gonna come in and cut it a little bit better. And then I'm actually gonna cut these out because it's gonna make it way easier for me to place it with these being two separate. And there is the Happy Valentine's Day, I love you. And then all you're gonna do is come in, place your printed design on your candle. And 
And then go ahead and just center it a little bit more or make sure it's exactly how you want it to be. Remember the leftover wax that we had when we made this candle? We're gonna go ahead and warm that up right now. What we're gonna do now is come in and pour our candle wax. And again, pour it very close to the container and very slow. Now you'll notice that your lettering is gonna come up a little bit. I just come in with this skewer and press it down. Again, making sure it's where I want it to be. And you're just gonna kind of push down on the whole thing and then finish pouring your candle wax. And then we're gonna allow this to cool completely. And then once your candle's done, you're just gonna go ahead and trim the wick to a quarter of an inch. Now I know that I'm gonna be asked if this is going to melt the plastic. Now I've made a whole bunch of these candles. I've burned them all the way down. I've allowed them to sit burning and I've yet to have any of the plastic melt on me. I looked up the melting point of the plastic and it's about 300 and some degrees Fahrenheit. I burned every type of candle that I had in my house and I checked the temperature with an infrared th thermometer and none of the candles hit that temperature. So it doesn't appear that these would burn or melt the plastic at all. Now keep in mind that the plastic isn't intended to stay in there forever, right? If you're gonna burn this candle all the way down, at some point you are gonna have to go ahead and pull the plastic out to allow the candle to finish burning. And it really is that easy to make your own secret message candle. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure you hit that subscribe and like button. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to comment in the messages down below. I try to answer all of them.